with the debris from hundreds of landslides etched on their slopes, these imposing canyons form one of the largest mazes in the solar system. The European Space Agency's Mars Express spacecraft has captured new images of a vast labyrinth of valleys and plateaus on the Red Planet. The region, known as Noctis Lurianthus, or Labyrinth of the Night, lies on the western edge of the Valles Marineris. Vast blocks more than 70 miles, 112 kilometers, wide create a jumble of paths through fractures up to 4 miles, 6 kilometers, deep in the Martian surface that stretch for more than 745 miles, 1,198 kilometers. In a statement released by ESA, the agency said the labyrinth was the equivalent length of the River Rhine from its source in the Alps to the North Sea. It added that the maze formed when the Martian crust swelled millions of years ago as a result of tectonic and volcanic activity. The area, known as the Darsus region, is home to one of the largest volcanoes in the solar system Olympus Mons. ESA said, as the crust bulged in the Darsus province it stretched apart the surrounding terrain, ripping fractures several kilometers deep and leaving blocks grob and stranded within the resulting trenches. In the images captured by the Mars Express probe, a large flat-topped block takes center stage. Landslides can be seen cascading down its flanks from the top of the valley floors, while debris litters the base of the steep walls. Astronauts hoping to navigate a way through this labyrinth would face a difficult task. In some areas, wind has piled up the dust into huge dune fields that extend like fingers from the plateaus above. Smaller fractures also litter the surface, where the land was stretched in the ancient past of the planet. A statement put out by the German Aerospace Center, which helped to analyze the pictures, said, the regular linear structures on the valley slopes visible on the left and right edges of the images can be interpreted as dune crests. From the alignment of the crests, it can be deduced that in some places, sand has been transported down the slope, while in other places, uphill transportation of the dune sand has taken place. In every case, these surface structures created by the wind are no longer active. This is indicated not only by the consistent covering of red Martian dust, active dunes on Mars would be dark grey in appearance as they generally consist of old volcanic dust, but also the presence of several small impact craters, visible in the lower right edge of the image, for example. In the event of a meteorite impact in an active dune, no crater would be left in the fine, loose material as the sand would trickle into the depression that was formed and immediately fill it back up again. Furthermore, any depression that was left would quickly be obliterated by sand moved by the wind.